Hi guys, I'm Sarah and I'm here to talk to you guys about getting your Virginia DMV permit for driving. Now first of all, you need to find out where your local DMV is and go and pick up one of these booklets. This is your main staple of getting your permit. Now once you've picked it up, you need to read it thoroughly, cover to cover, like every night or when you have free time. Instead of picking up your phone and going on Twitter or Instagram or Tumblr or something like that, just read this book because it'll help you out in the long run. Now first, I recommend that you guys memorize all of these signs. I mean, there's a couple pages of signs and lights. I mean, of course, green light you go, red light you stop. But the thing is, these signs you need to know spot on, like correct, perfect. Because when you take it, the first part is the signs and you have to get 10 out of 10. You cannot miss just one. You have to, you have to get all of them right. So you also need to know all of the laws in Virginia, like the penalties for driving under the influence or the $500 fine for not having insurance or like the minimum insurance that you can have, like say your plan would be 25,000 for one person. Um, 20,000 for personal damages and 50,000 for two or more people involved in the crash. That's just one thing that you need to know, like memorized. Um, also, you need to know the safety laws, like on child seats and things like that. And you pretty much need to know everything in this book. I mean, I'm not telling you to memorize the whole entire book. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. That'll be like even better for you. But just having this fresh in your mind before you take the test will be good. Now, I went to the DMV, um, say, two weeks ago. And on my birthday, well, not my birthday, but um, on the 23rd. Today is, what, the 6th? And um, I went there. I had everything. Like, I was so cocky. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to pass this, like, 100%. And I got in there. I mean, I knew all my stuff. But... I mean, it's really nerve-wracking, like, you don't expect what it's going to be like, you know? Well, when you're in there, I'm just going to give you a heads up. You have to go get an eye test. They have this little machine, and, like, you put your eyes in there, and you read off the letters. I mean, it's pretty simple. And then after that, they take your picture, and then after your picture is taken, they get all your information, put it in the computer, and they set you up at this little stand-up computer thing and it's like a screen monitor and like it's touch screen I mean it's really kind of nerve-wracking because like I was afraid of like pressing the wrong button you know but um, overthinking is a major part of like everything the test is simple I'm gonna tell you that right now it's simple if you read this book at least three times it'll be a breeze for you but overthinking got to me and I missed a question on the first part of the signs because I overthought. I mean, it was an easy, simple question, but I overthought it. I don't know why. And I picked the wrong answer and I failed by one question. So just one little question can make or break you. So relax, take a deep breath. If you've read the book, you're fine. So also I recommend after you read this book a couple of times, maybe downloading, if you have a phone or computer, an app for the DMV of Virginia. They have two apps I know of, and I have both of them. Um, they give you information. You have the online book and um, practice tests, which are really great to use. I would really encourage you guys to use those practice tests because they really prepare you for it. Now. I'm going tomorrow to have my second try at this, and I'm pretty sure that I'm prepared now. 